Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, we are going to discuss about TTP223 touch sensor module. This module is very small in size and it works as a digital version of a tactile switch. This module has four different switching modes which can be manually adjusted. So let us first have a look at the module. Let me bring it closer to the camera. So here is the module. This is the main component of the module that is the TTP223 IC which is a single channel touch sensor IC. It has three connecting pins. The first one from the top is the ground pin is mentioned here. This is for the negative power supply. The middle pin is the IO pin which is for the digital output and the third pin is the VCC pin which is for the positive power supply. This module works in a voltage range 3.3 volt DC to 5.5 volt DC. Higher voltage can burn the module. This module has very low current consumption. In the idle state it takes around 6 microampere and in the working state it can take up to 16 milliampere. This module has a tiny LED fixed with it which is the indicator for the touch. When we touch the module this indicator glows and the output turns high. This is an active high module that means when we touch the sensor the output becomes high. We can also convert it to active low module by soldering the configuration pins. I will come into detail about the configuration pins in a moment. So this is the basic part of the module and at the other side this is the touch plate where we need to touch. This touch plate is very sensitive and it can detect presence of a finger approximately at a distance up to 5 mm. And this touch works through solid objects. I will show that in the demonstration. Now this module has four configuration pins. You can see these two pins are marked with A and these two pins are marked with B. Now if we keep these pins unsoldered, this module works as a momentary touch switch and the output will be active high. Now if we solder the A pins, it will become a momentary touch switch but output will be active low. That means if we do not touch, the output will be high and if we touch, the output will be low. And if we solder the B pins, it will work as a toggle switch. That means once we touch the the module the output will turn on and again we touch the module the output will turn off. If we solder both the A pins and B pins it will work as an active low toggle switch. So that is the theory part for the module. Now we will come to the practical demonstration. For the ease of working we have soldered header pins to the output of this module. Now we will see the demonstration. We will see the demonstration on a breadboard. So I have taken a breadboard need to give power supply to the breadboard. So I am connecting the positive power supply and I am connecting the negative power supply. Now wires are taken from the power rails. Now we will insert the touch sensor. So the sensor is connected. Now if I touch it, you can see a red LED is glowing below the touch sensor. And let me show you, this module works even if I do not touch the module. My finger is at a distance around 5 mm. So the module is working at that distance. Now I will connect an LED for showing the output. So I am connecting the output pin to the LED. The cathode side of the LED is connected to the negative power rail. And the anode side of the LED is connected to the output pin of the touch sensor. So now whenever I touch the module or I bring my finger close to the touch plate, you see the LED is glowing. I just need to bring my finger closer to the touch sensor. I need not to touch the sensor always. And as I said, the sensor works through solid objects. So let me show you. So I will now show the working of this through a solid object. So I have this paper, I am holding it for making it thicker. So this is thick enough now and now I am holding it here and I am just taking my finger near to this and this is working. So this works through 
solid objects also so this is the momentary mode and the active high mode of the module now i will show you how this works in a toggle mode and active low mode so let me first show you the toggle mode in active high for that we need to take the module out and solder the b section of pins so i am taking this out and i am soldering the b section of pins you see i have soldered the b section now we will see the output so here i connect the module and you see this has now become a toggle switch you see i just touch it once the led is glowing and again i touched once the led turned off touching one turn on touching once turned off so this is now active high toggle switch now if we need to change it to active low mode we need to solder the a section also so let's remove it from the panel now i will solder the a section so i have soldered the a section also now both a section and b section are soldered now let us put it on the breadboard now you see the module is initially turned on when i powered it up the module is initially turned on now i touch once this turned off and again i turn touched it this turned on so this module is now an active low module let me show you by removing the power pin i am removing the ground power and connecting it see initially it is turned on that means the output is high right now and that is why the led is glowing now once i touch it the output will be low and the led will turn off once again i touch it the output will be high and the led will turn on so this has now become an active low toggle switch so this is the third mode of the ttp223 module now we can convert it to momentary mode active low switching for that we need to remove the b section of the soldering so i am removing the module let's remove the b section of soldering it's done now this is an active low momentary switch let's insert the module you see as soon as i inserted the module it is initially high so the led is glowing as long as i keep my finger touched in the touch sensor the led will not glow because the output is low and when i remove my hand from the touch plate the output will be high and the led will glow so now this is working as a active low momentary switch so this way we can convert this small module to four different modes and we can use it as a digital switch instead of a tactile switch or push switch locking or momentary type so this is all about the ttp223 module if you have any question or any query about this module please feel free to ask me in the comments i will answer all your queries and in today's video up to this if you like the video please hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel rg innovations we will meet again in a new video till then bye bye take care have a nice time thank you